Welcome aboard. Look at my hair today. Am I serving like 70s goddess realness? Today's video is the second part to my moving vlogs, I guess. As you can see, I am like 100% moved in. I have lived here for probably like three weeks now. I apologize for being MIA. I kind of have had a down couple days or weeks. Because this video is a lot of time lapses, I figured that I would answer some questions and put that audio over it. Gonna start off with probably the most frequently asked questions. Um, do you live alone or with a roommate? I live by myself. I also have gotten a lot of questions of whether I live with my boyfriend or not, which is like not crazy to me, but like a little bit because I literally am 18. Like I couldn't imagine living with my boyfriend right now because when you live with your significant other, like you're pretty much married. Like the only thing that's the difference is that you don't have a ring on your finger and maybe like some like tax stuff, I don't know. If I had a roommate, I think I would literally wanna rip their head off. So I didn't move in with a roommate. I don't live with my boyfriend either. I live by myself. Are you planning on getting a dog or a cat or a pet? I wish I could get a cat, but my boyfriend is very allergic to cats. Not like deathly allergic, but whenever he's around a cat, literally for the next three days, he lives in hell. He just has really bad allergies in general. Also, if I got a cat, no one would watch it if I like went out of town. My mom literally said, if you get a cat, I ain't watching it and that pretty much rules out everyone so also with a dog i don't think i'm going to get a dog anytime soon because that literally is like a lifelong commitment not lifelong but like 15 years you know i just don't know what my life is gonna be like in even like a year i have evie a lot of people also ask why i couldn't take evie the reason i couldn't take her is because evie is my family's dog so i'm not just gonna like take her evie was not just my dog like we got her as a family so then it doesn't really make sense for me to take her when i moved out i wish i could evie is gonna have plenty of sleepovers here i actually had my first sleepover with her and my boyfriend like a week ago and it was fun. She really liked it here. No pets for now. How's the homesickness? Anything that has helped going home? I literally live 20 minutes away from my mom, which is like nothing to me. My boyfriend lives like an hour away. So anything that's like over an hour and 30 minutes feels long, but anything under than that feels really like fast. I am literally to my mom's in 20 minutes. I go home pretty often, not every single day, but I do like to go there to work out because you know, I can't really work out hear that much because you know with like jumping around and shit and i also don't want to be going to a gym right now for obvious reasons so i go home to work out i see my dog and my mom and my family pretty often this question is where is everything from where's the table from the rug blah 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 i am working on gathering all the links to everything in my apartment i did a lot of apartment shopping with my mom on her computer so a lot of the stuff went to her email so i don't even know where everything is from because i did a lot of the shopping with my mom So is all this stuff going out? Yeah. Oh. Mini hall. Cute water filter. When I eventually do an apartment tour, I will have the links to pretty much everything. That was another asked question. Probably the most asked question is when I'm gonna do an apartment tour. And it really just depends. I have furniture that I'm still waiting on coming here. I still have a lot more like stuff to decorate. I don't wanna show it off to you guys when it's not 100% done. I don't know. I don't know how long that's gonna take to 100% finish it, but I eventually will do one just when it is 100% done. And I am 100% happy with it. Oh, <laughs> I almost just slipped and ate shit. This is my coffee book table. Do you guys like it? Coffee book table. Coffee, coffee table book. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You got That's a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro. This is so cute. What do you think, everyone? My living room finally has some stuff in it. Fun fact. Actually, sad fact. All of my outlets are two-prong, which just, I feel like nothing is like two-prong anymore. Like even my computer has like three prongs. OMG, bro, I'm gonna take the best mirror selfies right here. Also, I'm wearing Kennedy's. Um, Kennedy, the Walsh family's new like little clothing line called Moods. You guys should go check them out because these are so comfy and I'm going to be wearing this and they sent me a blue set too. Look how cute. I wanted to do a little miscellaneous haul. I'll make it quick. From Walmart, I just got a thing of paper and I got some pens too. I already put those away. I just, cause everyone has that little miscellaneous drawer where you just like have some things that you just need every once in a while. I got some tape also to go in that. I got, oh, these are the little adapters that I had to get. I got some hand sanitizer. Then from Target, 
I got some cookie sheets and those little rack things. I got some towels, finally. I've been looking just for like some nice quality towels. Um, I'm gonna wash these, obviously. I got some little like dish rags. Got some more. Got some of like smaller towels. I got a little Swiffer and I also got I got like a Swiffer wet jet because I have wood floors. So I like needed like a mop type thing to clean them. So this, these are just the pads, but I have the actual Swiffer thing over there. I got a trash can also. I got some cleaner for that. Some disinfectant spray for like when people like sit on my couch and stuff or basically touch anything, I can disinfect it. These um, little oven mitt things. I think that's it. I just have more towels in there. I'm gonna go wash all these and put some stuff away. I got a lot of questions about finances and money. Does the money aspect of living alone scare you? Yes. When you grow up hearing your parents kind of like argue and talk about money a lot, it kind of imprints into your head that you just need to be careful with money and that you need to worry about money. I feel like I do pretty well with saving. Tips on finding good apartments. So how I found this apartment was literally because my friend was like, oh, have you heard of this place? You should look there. And I looked here and I literally loved it. I had been looking for some sort of more vintage looking apartment. I don't know. A Apartments.com or something like that. I looked at a lot because you can like filter different things and they like email you about like new apartments or apartments that you might like. I had a couple of requirements. I really, really wanted wood floors. I hate carpet so much. Like it just, I don't know. I just really don't like it. I don't like the look of it. So I wanted somewhere that had all wood floors, which is this, what this apartment has. I wanted somewhere that had a more vintage look, somewhere that obviously wasn't super, super expensive. The area that I live in, I really, really like. I wanted to live in this area and I do. That was pretty much it. I don't know, just kind of like make a list of things that you want and you can go on a bunch of different apart apartment finding websites and filter all of that out. Um, that's kind of what I did. Do you have fears protection wise moving out as a young woman? Yes, I have horrible paranoia. I just am always so scared that there's someone in my apartment. I take a lot of precautions to make sure that I'm safe, but of course it's not even just, you know, when you're a woman, you have fears about pretty much doing anything, not even just living by your own, but like you can go walk out on the street and you know, you're a target. I got a question about credit. Um, do I have credit? Did my parents have to co-sign? So I don't have credit. I applied for a credit card card and just never heard anything back. So I don't know if that means that I like didn't get accepted or what the deal is with that. If any of you have any good like first starter credit cards that you really like, let me know. Ew, I hate that I have to talk about adult stuff because it's just, it's so boring, but it's just life. I did not have to have credit. I just had to like basically show my earnings, which through all my taxes and stuff, I can show my earnings for like the end of the year or every month. So the movers got everything in. My rug was too big for my room. Like it literally took up the whole entire room. So I didn't have that, but um, I have my sheets and my duvet thing at my house. I'm gonna have to go and get those. I got these. These are all full of my clothes. This is like my makeup stuff. I didn't originally want to put these in here, but I literally don't have anywhere else to put them. So I guess they'll just go in here. My parents did not have to co-sign because credit was not required here. Are you keeping your room at your old house? I don't think so. I've talked to my mom about it. Long story short, the room that my little stepsister is living in is not even a bedroom. It doesn't have any windows. So it's just kind of like a safety hazard for her even being in there. So my mom said within a couple months, if I am doing well here and I don't want to move back, then she will get that room with the sink, which I'm fine with because I have literally been loving living here. I love living by myself. I love being alone. Obviously it's really nice to have like friends and company over, but like I love being by myself. I accidentally just barely woke up. I had an alarm set for 7.15 and it's like 9.40 and I just woke up. I actually fell asleep on my couch last night and I keep having dreams about Billie Eilish. Like not even necessarily about her, but she's always in them. Like my last like four dreams I can remember were literally about Billie Eilish. It's weird because my friend Kaya told me that she had a dream that me and Billie Eilish were friends and that I like wouldn't let her hang out with us. But I don't know, Billie Eilish just like keeps showing up in my dreams. I don't remember what my dream was because I like woke up and came in here and I was like, I'm gonna remember this for the morning and now I don't remember it. If that's all the questions I'm gonna answer. Thank you guys for watching this video. I thought I was gonna be able to make more apartment videos, but my mental health went on a decline. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, 
comment them. I always, I, okay. I always respond to comments. I love talking to you guys. And thanks for supporting me and helping me pay my rent. Peace out. Bye.